And straight ahead, cupcake shops are huge. Coming up, we're gonna introduce you to a Southern California mom who has uh, a secret ingredient in her cupcakes. That's straight ahead. This portion of the news is brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. This cupcake has a little something extra in it for you. This is the liquor. Meet the drunk little dessert, the swizzle cake. I'm gonna add some champagne. That's Judy Lieb's not so secret ingredient. Lemoncello, rum, I've got some peppermint schnapps. You never know when you need that. That makes her so popular with the rest of the Valley Mom. Okay, this looks like it's ready to go. It started in her kitchen, but now she's baking behind this body shop in Van Nuys. This doesn't look like a cupcake shop. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You know, the thing is, is that you can give away as many cupcakes as you want baking out of your house as long okay. as you give them away as soon as you start asking people to pay for them you have to be in a commercial kitchen judy says if it's a drink she can cupcake a lemon drop martini a strawberry margarita there's a white russian and a whole web page full of cocktail confection yeah i've had a lot of people call and say you know can i get drunk off of these things and no i mean if you do get drunk you are the ultimate lightweight yeah other than her kid version shirley temples and root beer floats i've got brown cow great lemonade one. Most of Judy's products have a bit of booze. This is the creme vet, the violet liqueur. So for now, she'll stay behind the body shop. As soon as I have a retail stop, shop, that sort of steps it up a notch. I need to hire people that are old enough to sell liquor, responsible enough to check IDs, that kind of thing. I know people think cupcakes are a trend. I really don't think they are because as long as there are moms and kids, there's always going to be cupcakes. In Van Nuys. So this is champagne in the cupcake and the frosting is champagne and violet liqueur. Oh, yeah. So, and you taste it, but it's not overpowering, right? Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. I hope he's bringing some of those back with him. All right, to current temperatures outside.